Hi, so I'm here at Music Store Professional in Cologne, in case you've noticed that the studio looks uh, slightly different from mine at home. Uh, I just thought I'd make a little stop here, because you guys really seem to enjoy the Fame Forum guitars that Music Store offers, and so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a hands-on review, because I haven't seen all that many of them. Um, real quick, off the bat, just thank you to Music Store for lending their studio for me to me for the day, because this is a really nice looking place. And it's much nicer than if I had to go into like one of the try out a guitar rooms and have people knocking on the doors and then I'd have a 15 minutes of raw footage that just suck. So this is the Fame Forum 4 in, I think it's a modern satin black finish is what it's called. Uh, it's got a mahogany body, mahogany neck, and an ebony fretboard with mother of pearl inlays. Standard stuff, you, can, you might be able to tell it looks like a PRS. I've handled a lot of PRS guitars in this price range. Price range, by the way, is about 1100 euro. This is nicer. PRS guitars, kind of, they have their SE range, and um, the PRS SE range pretty much ranges up to anything up to like four grand, and then at about 4,000 euro, that's when you start seeing um, the actual PRS high-end guitars. This feels, this feels like an on-brand actual PRS, and it's 1100 euro. Uh, KDH made a video about one of these, but he didn't have a hands-on review or anything. What he did was he kind of listed the specs and then he said, uh, this is kind of one of the best value guitars that you can get at the moment. And so I've come here to show you that that is indeed a fact and give you some sound demos. Hi, so I'm editing this right now and I feel like I have to mention that none of the content that happened at Music Store, because there were a couple of videos, is sponsored not by Fame, not by Music Store themselves, not by any of the brands mentioned in the videos. No one is sponsoring any of this. The opinions are all my own. I went to Music Store with, knowing what videos I was going to record. I just thought it would make the process much easier if I'm able to reach out to someone and they say, you know, we're not using that studio today. You can borrow it. And that's exactly what happened. But that's all they contributed to the video. They did not implant any opinions in my head. If the guitar had sucked, I would have said it right to their face even though they were sitting behind the camera. It just happened to very much not suck. Cool, thanks. So this guitar is equipped with uh, Seymour Duncan JB and Jazz, which is a very standard Seymour Duncan setup, and that's for good reason, because it's very good. Uh, it's got locking tuners, and this, like, I can tell you, this is one of the best bang for buck things that you can get for, like, under two grand. There's a battery compartment in the back, and just a second ago I was like, oh, well, this is a Seymour Duncan JB, though this isn't active. Uh, apparently there's a piezo system in here, so we're not going to be using that, because I'm not John Petrucci. I don't do PAs, I don't do, I don't do cleans, I do, I do the chugga chugga, you know, that's my thing. But it does have a piezo, you have that option, there's a coiled split, there's a coil split, um, no, this is the piezo thing, I think there's a coil split here, but it does have a coil tap, it does have a piezo, this thing is full of options, it has a Graftec Tunomatic, which is, I, that just kind of, you know, sprung into my eye immediately because the, the saddles are black, which means no friction, lots of, Lubrication. It's very nice. I've been talking for long enough. Let's see, hear how it sounds. The rig for this video, by the way, is not the gorgeous, amazing PV Triple X that's behind me. This is purely for decorative purposes, which is a humble brag, kind of, to just have that behind you um, for decoration and not use it. Now, I'm using a Kemper. Uh, I know Cardinal Sin on this channel, by the way, that's the least six-string TV thing ever, is um, plugging into a Kemper. But it's just very, it's, it's very nice, you know, it's a very on-the-fly thing. Uh, so it's perfect for that. And you have to admit, it sounds very good. Well, so usually, what I would do here is I would grab a balloon and blow it up and run it along the fret edges. And then, you know, I, I, I do the balloon test. That's kind of my thing. It's a test fret sharpness. No one else does that. And so I hate to not be able to do it, but I don't have a balloon on hand, sadly, because I don't... I don't, I don't huh? We do have balloons. They have balloons. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Help yourself. Thank you, they have balloons. This is glorious, I'll grab the purple one.
This was a surprising turn of events. I do have balloons now. Before I do anything, um, these, these frets, these are filed to perfection, so nothing is going to happen. I can guarantee that. Uh, but again, this is, this is what I do, just for credibility's sake. Nothing. The balloon survives. I'll just... I'll just... yeah. Okay, I wasn't expecting to do a balloon test today. That is very nice. I guess I'll, um, I'll be able to do that for, the, for all the guitars I hold today. That's great. So I'll just give you some more kind of um, different sound samples, if that is possible. Is that possible? To at least maybe maybe get some reverb on that 5150 so I can. <laughs> Play as many Nuno Betancourt riffs as I want because uh, they don't copyright claim you for that, which is very nice. If I played any Ingve Malmsteen now, I'd get fucked again. <laughs> I'll let you have a clean tone because I'm, I'm going to be gracious and let you have that if that if that's that's possible. I don't play clean, but you know, it's, it's some people do. Okay, so now I have to figure out which one, which one's the coil split. That one. Oh yeah. So you know me to be a big strat guy, and so this is, oh yeah, that is glassy, man. Kick on the distortion, real quick, quick. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, the, this has been a, a quite unusual video. Um, you can tell I'm not used to doing professional things. I, I guess you know that was that was a th big thing of 42 Gear Street as well. Was there was just too much professionalism. It wasn't me sitting in what used to be my bedroom, <laughs> just with with some shitty lighting. Uh, but yeah, also, I also don't know how I look in this in this pale lighting. This is probably actually a good choice. You know, I use very warm light at home and then I tend to look yellow. Anyway, you heard it, you, you've seen it. I balloon tested it, even though I thought I wasn't gonna be able to. So, again, big thanks to Music Store Professional for letting me do this here. Um, they do not offer affiliate programs for these, apparently, but I'll still put a link for you to buy it in the description, because I don't need to make money off of that. There will be ad revenue, because I didn't actually end up playing any Yngwie licks. So, Thank you very much for watching. I guess this was this was this was a short video, but you know, um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to my Patreon members. Whatever. Um, latest video. Subscribe. Links in the description for these very nice T-shirts. Buy them and goodbye.